think that's enough work for today. Let's just leave it here and go to bed. Oh, that's cute. They said they would wait for me to be done, but they fell asleep. I'm just going to carefully get in bed. I don't want to wake you. smile on your face <laughs> probably dreaming about me you are dreaming about me right <laughs> just kidding you never stop telling me that I am the girl of your dreams but I wish I could tell you just how much I love you just like you always say such beautiful things to me. It's not that I don't care about you. I do more than you could possibly imagine. But this is the first time I felt like this about anyone. All of this is so new to me. just don't want to ruin what we have by saying the wrong thing or messing up the words and having you misunderstand me <laughs> you make me jealous sometimes because you have no fear or shame about saying all those wonderful things about me whenever we meet new people you always casually introduce me as your cute girlfriend I still remember the time I invited you to come with me to a friend's wedding. The groom asked you who you were with, and you told him you were with the most beautiful girl in that party. <laughs> right in front of the bride. <laughs> I can still feel my cheeks glowing bright red, and me casually slapping your arm and dragging you so embarrassed <laughs> but you you just have the goofiest cutest smile on your face like you were proud of everything you said even then when I tried to act mad you always like to tease me afterwards it's only when I actually get upset that you start apologizing even though you really didn't do anything wrong. If anything, I should be apologizing. I want to be able to express how much you mean to me. Not just when we're alone, but when we're in public. I want to tell people that I have the best, most beautiful partner. But I just can't bring myself to say it like you do. The happiest day of my life was when you decided to come talk to me. I always thought you were cute. Every time I saw you come into the coffee shop, I always tried to bring myself to come talk to you. And every day, I would watch you walk away with the same coffee in your hand. One day I was really upset about something. I can't remember what it was, but I do remember trying to hold my tears back. That's when you came and sat next to me, asking me if I was okay. I was so shocked. I didn't even realize that I had a tear rolling down my cheek. But you were really kind to me. You just grabbed a napkin from the counter and, and gently wiped that tear away. You asked me if it was okay if you sat next to me. And all I could do was not. 
even without knowing me. You always seem to know what to say to make me laugh and to make me feel better. Before I knew it, we had been talking for hours. I did my best to continue the conversation because I didn't want that moment to end. So I was a bit disappointed when we said goodbye and headed in different directions. I was ready to give up on you when I heard footsteps running towards me. I turned around and there you were, all out of breath. You asked me for my number and asked me if we could hang out again. I was so nervous that my phone was shaking in my hand and you just held it steady for me while you put it in your phone. It's been months since then. Time flew by and now we're here, living together. You're always doing that, you know. Every time I feel uneasy or nervous, you're always there to support. I don't know how we managed everything before I met you, but having you by my side makes me feel like I can do anything. I love you so much. I hope you know that. <sighs> if only I was brave enough to do that when you're alone. you in the eyes and tell you that I love you, that you mean the world to me. I couldn't imagine my life with anyone else. And whenever you're ready to take the next step, I would say yes without hesitation. But I know it's a big step. I don't want to pressure you. But whenever you're ready, I would be happy to be your wife. Just say the word, and I'm all yours. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Your smile got bigger. Like you heard every word I just said. Are you awake? Hey, don't try to hide that smile. You are awake, right? Um, how much of that did you hear? You've been awake since I walked in. So you heard everything. Don't look at me right now, I'm so embarrassed. I mean, I wanted you to know all that. I want you to know how I feel about you. But I wanted to do it when I'm ready. Please, I don't want to look at you or have you see me like this. That's not fair. Putting your arms tightly around me, holding me close to you. You know how much I love it when you do that. Okay, I forgive you. Just don't do that again, please. If I'm going to pour my heart out, at least let me know when you're listening so that I know what to say. Of course, I meant everything I said. I wanted you to know how I feel about you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. If you seem to always know how to make me happy, of course you know how much I love you. But I want to make sure you hear it directly from me. I'll try to say it more often. 
so that you never have any doubt of how much I love you. Now then, let's go to sleep. It's pretty late and we have to wake up early tomorrow. Hey, I didn't say you could let go. Hold me like this. At least until I fall asleep. It's the least you could do for embarrassing me like that. <laughs> Thank you. For always being there for